everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Dr. Mundo rework, which was announced at the last um, Champion Roadmap, where Riot were talking about what they were planning on doing next and what champions were coming up next. They did confirm that Dr. Mundo will be next, and they talked a little bit after that about um, what kind of things they were expecting to do to Dr. Mundo, what kind of changes they were likely to make. I will have that link down in the description if you want to go read the current thoughts that Riot are having towards the Dr. Mundo rework. However, I did want to include some of my own thoughts and kind of get a discussion going here about the Dr. Mundo rework because we are still far enough out at this point that the Dr. Mundo rework can be changed we can still influence the end results of Ryder talking about certain things that they're thinking about, that they want to do, and your thoughts are, well, that's a terrible idea, or that sounds really cool, let them know. That's one of the reasons why Fiddlesticks has the voiceover he does, because a lot of people expressed interest when Riot said they wanted his voiceover to sound like he was talking with a multitude of different voices. They couldn't do that in-game due to clarity issues, but they did still give Fiddlesticks the um, saying lines that other champions have when he sees them because that was kind of a cool concept. Same with Volibear, the sort of permanent unstoppability that Volibear was originally going to have as a passive. Riot said, hey, that's really cool. Obviously, we couldn't balance that out. But we can give it to him at least a little bit on his kit with the uh, immediate reset of his Q if he gets stunned or otherwise CC'd during that duration. That's another thing that they were able to keep because the community said, that's really cool. Um, especially when a lot of people talked about, you know, hey, we really want um, the bear, you know, the thousand pierced bear that you guys talked about in one of the stories. That's really cool, right? Weren't able to really do that, um, but they made a skin for it because they said, hey, that's a good idea. So those kinds of things are the reason why starting this discussion early is a good idea because we can sort of tell Riot, hey, here's what we want out of Dr. Mundo. Now, I will be clear with you guys. I don't really have a horse in this race. I don't play Dr. Mundo, I'm not a fan of Dr. Mundo, but it's definitely still worth it to talk about some of the things that I would like to see happen to the champion um, in his upcoming rework. First and foremost, Dr. Mundo did need this rework. I think it's obvious to everyone who's played this game. Um, currently, he has very little skill expression. The champion just doesn't have an awful lot going on in regards to what you can do to um, separate yourself as a good Dr. Mundo or a bad Dr. Mundo, because the only thing he has is a skill shot. A lot of the rest of his skill expression is sort of in managing his health and in using his other abilities, knowing when to toggle on and off, burning agony. But it's just not a lot of, it's not a lot of skill expression is the biggest problem with it. A lot of Dr. Mundo ends up being just kind of throw cleavers at somebody and stand next to them, hitting them with your all of your AoE damage. And that's kind of difficult to appreciate, and especially when Dr. Mundo gets ahead. It feels like there's nothing you can do to outplay him. He'll just hit cleaver after cleaver and walk at you, hitting you with all his damage. And there's not really a whole lot you can do. Everyone knows build Grievous Wounds against him to at least limit the effectiveness of his ultimate. But that doesn't, that doesn't change the effectiveness of the rest of his kit. His current theme is also a little hard to convey in game. In the <clears throat> excuse me, in the lore, Doctor Mundo is supposed to be this character who, for him, pain is pleasure. He finds it pleasurable to, uh, you know, lie on a bed of nails or to suffer damage, and that sort of a thing is difficult to convey in game. Ryder doing the best they can with it, in that he's a champion with health costs who has a lot of health regeneration, but as with Vladimir, that can be sort of difficult to balance out and it can be difficult to convey. The other thing is his lore is a little hard to flavor in terms of the modern day Runeterra. It's really hard to kind of say, oh, hey, here's what Dr. Mundo should be. How does he kind of fit into you know, the current state of Piltover and Zaun, how does he really work with that? It's kind of difficult to to place that. So these are all things that I would hope that Riot would be able to change going forward. Now, obviously there are a lot of things that Riot will need to do, but what at least should stay about Dr. Mundo? I think the biggest thing is he needs to keep Infected Cleaver, and he needs to keep some form of Sadism, which is his ultimate. Cleaver, as much as I hate it in-game right now, it is pretty iconic. I do like Dr. Mundo throwing these massive Infected Meat Cleavers at his opponents. It adds a little bit more of the horror element to an otherwise kind of goofy champion, so I do like that. And it was a form of skill expression on Dr. Mundo, so I see no reason why it should be removed. Hopefully, if Riot can find some other form of skill expression as well, Cleaver doesn't have to have such a high reward on it. Right now, it has a pretty hefty slow. It has a very low cooldown. It doesn't really cost him anything as long as he's landing Cleavers. And it's one of the things that makes him really, really sticky. So as long as Riot can find an appropriate way to 
to add other skill expression to his kit, they can reduce the power and effective cleaver while still keeping it in its sort of spammable, constant slow, Mundo's just gonna keep hitting you and keep doing damage to you as you try to run away form that it currently is in. Sadism's another ability that's pretty iconic. Um, it's difficult to appreciate sometimes. A lot of new players kind of see sadism and they're sort of like, well, what do I do about this? He just heals so much and there's nothing I can do. And the answer is essentially get Grievous Wounds or wait for it to run out. Um, but it is an iconic ability. I think that sort of Mundo's thing is he's supposed to never die. He's the kind of guy who ults at you and you're hitting him with all of your damage. Your whole team is dumping damage on this guy, but he just is not going down. And that in and of itself is a little terrifying and it's something I really like about Dr. Dr. Mundo's kit. So I don't know if it should stay in its current form where he just gets a ton of bonus health regeneration and uh, and movement speed on cast, especially given that he doesn't have mana. That can be a little difficult to balance out because he sort of just builds CDR and compresses R off cooldown in lane to sustain with, and it becomes slightly difficult to deal with. But I do think something about it should stick around. Um, and of course, is sort of along the same lines. Buying health should be the de facto Dr. Mundo experience. This should be a character for whom Warmog's armor and spirit visage are sort of like his core two items. I think that's a pretty fair assumption to make because that's sort of what you want to be able to do. You want to stack health, you want a gigantic health bar, and you just want to run at people and watch as they flail ineffectually at your giant health bar trying to kill you, but they, of course, never can because you're Mundo and you go where you please. Now... Those are the kinds of things that I think should stay, but that doesn't mean that there are things on Mundo's kit that also that um, should all stay. I think he does have some a few things that need to be either removed or reworked. Uh, Burning Agony and Masochism are both abilities that don't have a lot of skill expression behind them, that don't really have a whole lot of um, appreciable power to them, especially if you're a newer player who doesn't really know how Dr. Mundo works. All you really know is he kind of walks at you and hits his buttons, and all of a sudden you're dying, and you're trying to flash away, and then he hits a bunch of cleavers on you, and you can't ever run, and you just kind of die from there. And there's no way to outplay these abilities. The outplay on Burning Agony is stay out of his range. The outplay on masochism is just don't be in range because otherwise it's an auto attack. You can't dodge it. So I'd love those abilities to either be removed entirely and replaced with hopefully more skill expressive abilities or for them to be reworked into a way that they do have some form of skill expression to them. Especially something like if you changed Burning Agony to be closer to Aurelian Souls W and how that currently works, where it's a very brief ability, so Mundo has to make the most of it when he activates it. That could be a more interesting way to do it. I don't necessarily think it should stay, because Burning Agony is one of those abilities that you look at and you kind of say, how does this make any sense? He just sets himself on fire, and that hurts me because he's on fire next... It's one of those abilities that I don't think really works at the end of the day. So Burning Agony is probably pretty safe to leave. Masochism I expect to stay at least for the name, but it should probably have more um, more expression behind it than it currently does either, rather than just being an auto attack modifier. Do something else with that ability. I would love to see that. The other thing would be Dr. Mundo's passive. It Currently, it's pretty boring. It's hard to appreciate. It's just kind of there. And as with a lot of these sort of stat buff passives that uh, a lot of older champions used to have, I would think it's a good idea to remove those because it doesn't feel appreciable. It doesn't feel like something in particular that has gameplay. It's just this champion has X better stat than everybody else. And not even something like Nasus Lifesteal, where at least that's sort of appreciable and informs his playstyle. Um, Adrenaline Surge is just kind of, he has more health regeneration. We already knew that about him because of his ultimate. He doesn't need the passive on top of that. I would love to see some form of sustain in his kit, but hopefully something that feels a little bit better to deal with. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about Dr. Muno's flavor and how I'd like to see him change going forward. Like I said, he's kind of a silly champion, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think League of Legends is in a severe need of sillier champions, especially as a lot of the older roster has been reworked over time to be less silly. A lot of characters have gotten significantly more serious as time has gone on. I think the best thing we can look at right now is Fiddlesticks, who used to be kind of a silly champion. He's this harbinger of doom, but he just kind of hobbled at you. He threw crows at you. He, he wasn't very scary at all. And now he's this absolutely terrifying monstrosity, right? That's a silly champion that's become a little bit more serious after his rework. I would love to see something similar to Mundo, I think he needs to be a little bit more serious than he currently is, but I also don't think he needs to go completely serious into the sort of horror villain aspect that he could very well end up as. 
I think that there is a, a big fi- a big reason to think look at Mundo and say, yeah, he does have a lot of the sort of hallmarks of a horror villain type champion. I'm especially thinking of someone like uh, Butcher Ergot, for example. That's kind of something that Dr. Mundo could end up being, but I don't think we want to go all the way with it. I think he should still keep some of his sort of humor behind him. Um, that being said, he needs to be integrated with Runeterra a little bit better because he is a little silly. He doesn't really feel like there's a lot going on with him that ties him to the world. He's just sort of this purple guy who, for whatever reason, finds pleasure in pain and scientists studied on him. And that's why he wants to be a doctor because he hung out with scientists. That's just, it's kind of excuse plot E to me. And it doesn't feel like anything in particular. It feels like they essentially said, who is Mundo right now? And we'll write lore to match that as opposed to who is Dr. Mundo. Let's create a character around that. I would love to see them take more of that approach. Uh, at least off the top of my head, I have had a concept for Dr. Mundo as a mad scientist who was studying the relationship between play, uh, pain and pleasure and was trying to find a way to turn one into the other, perhaps, as sort of like an anesthetic. Somehow he sort of uh, Dr. Jekylled himself into Dr. Mundo, but he lost a lot of his intelligence at the same time. So he's still trying to study this relationship, but because he's not as smart as he used to be, a lot of it just involves hitting things and trying to figure out why they don't think it's as uh, pleasurable as he does. That sort of a concept would tie him in a little bit better with the lore, and at least we know, okay, he was a Zonite professor. He wasn't just the sort of one-off purple guy that we discovered out of nowhere, and we have no idea what made him into what he is today or where he even comes from. That sort of a concept would be, I think, a lot better for Mundo, a lot stronger for Mundo, and would make him, I think, a little bit more resonant for some of the um, older players, or a lot of the newer players of the game, who kind of look at this and say, okay, well, this is just kind of a silly character, and I don't get it. So those are just my thoughts on Dr. Mundo, though. Go ahead and let me know what you guys are thinking of him down in the comment section below. Would love to hear your thoughts, especially if you are a Dr. Mundo player. Please tell me if I'm off base on any of this stuff. I would love to hear your comments on this subject. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing. I upload a video just like this every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later.